as far as post daily show, it definitely is more, it's, it's more freeing. I, I have the ability to kind of focus on my own things. I really enjoyed my time at The Daily Show and it was a great job, but it's just that, it's a job. It's not necessarily a career that I could do for you know, the rest of my life. And, but at, while I was at that job, I really tried to focus on that job. So when I had free time, that's when I would get to write stand up, that's when I get to go on the road, do those types of things, or even work on any other ideas I had, be they scripts or things like that. That all wound up getting saved for my free time, which, you know, Daily Show, it's a... Didn't leave you a whole lot of it? Yeah, you don't, you don't get a ton of time. So for me, having stepped away from it, I now have the, the time and the, the freedom to kind of focus on those other things. And, and also, I think from working on that show, I also have a new set of skills and more experience in television that perhaps informs some of that stuff. Yeah, I mean, it won a couple of Emmys while you were writing for it, too. So uh, quite a few other things that you've gained. Do you miss it? I miss the people. I miss the people. I, uh, you know, when I, when I get to go back every now and again, it's always fun to see people. It really, you know, you, at any job, you spend, every, you know, five days a week you're with these people and you spend so much time with them and they become your sort of daily family. And so to not see them... You like I had a routine. I'd go get oatmeal and I'd talk with some of some of the people I worked with, and we would that would be our sort of morning. Would you know we talk about whatever we watched on television the night before, or sports or something like that, and then we'd go off and start doing work. And so to not have that, there's definitely something strange about that. But I still stay in touch with folks, and you know now the show. So many people that I knew are gone now and have gone on to other things. So it's so while I miss it, I miss my time there. It's a different thing now, and uh, it's it's its own thing without without me and without other people. Do you think it's as good without you? I'm sure it's. I, I've, that's yeah. I think it's 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 always that's the great thing about that show is that show is just responding to what's happening in current events, and so they are always going to come at it with a with an intelligence and a you know and a humor and i was fortunate enough to be on that train for four and a half years but that train still keeps moving so yeah and were you always into into politics and keeping up with the news or is that something new for you kind of that that show brought up the show definitely i think pushed pushes you in that direction I think I was probably more interested in social commentary than political, and still probably am. But the show definitely puts a you be you think more about it from a from you know you you think more about politics. I'm I'm glad to not have to know who Mitch McConnell is if I don't want to anymore. <laughs> there was a time when you know I think I had to spend my my days, you almost wanted to create like trading cards for all the members of the House and the Senate and all of the various people who work on, you know, MSNBC and CNN and Fox News, and and you were constantly sort of amassing this database of people and and things. And so I'm I'm glad not to have to do that anymore and not Fair to. And I, not I think less Mitch McConnell in everyone's <laughs> life is probably probably um, a good thing.